Hello and welcome to another helpful video on the CAT S22 Flip. The CAT S22 Flip is a fantastic option for those seeking a minimalist lifestyle and wanting to escape the endless scrolling on smartphones. However, switching from a smartphone to a small screen with a hardware keypad can be challenging for newcomers. Here are some essential changes to make using the device easier. Number one, change screen settings for better app compatibility. Because of the small screen on the cat, many apps are cut off at the bottom, making some app selection options inaccessible. To solve this, first enable developer mode. To enable developer mode, open settings, scroll down to about phone, then scroll down to build number and click on it repeatedly until it says you are now a developer. Now go back and click on system and you will see developer options. Click on it and scroll down to the drawing section and adjust the smallest width setting to around 420. Since this adjustment will make items appear slightly smaller, you can go into the display settings to increase the system font size. This change will help make the app selection options visible. The app screen is no longer cut off at the bottom. Number two, get a keypad friendly keyboard. The built-in Kika keypad based keyboard is not very effective. I recommend installing the tiny T9 keyboard and opting for the premium version. After installing this keyboard, you will feel much more comfortable typing. It offers superior word prediction and emoji prediction, easily accessible symbols and emoji pages and many customization options. If your cat ever experiences the common multi-click keypad issue, the keyboard has a software fix available in settings, making the small one-time premium payment worth every penny. Number three, set up a mouse cursor. A common concern for potential cat users is whether their favorite apps can be used with the keypad. They find the small screen challenging for precise touch input, while others prefer using the keypad like a traditional feature phone. Unfortunately, most apps are not designed for keypad use. The best solution is to install clicky dumb phone mouse cursor. This app overlays a mouse pointer on the screen which you can navigate with the D-pad much like a conventional PC mouse. It also features intuitive scrolling options. Once installed, you will no longer worry about app compatibility with the keypad. This must-have app greatly expands your options on the Google Play Store for a small one-time payment. Number four, set up a minimalist home screen. After installing the mouse cursor, you can install any launcher you prefer without worrying whether it's keypad friendly. My favorite is Nova Launcher, which is clean and minimalist. Other alternatives include O Launcher, Big Launcher and Elderly Launcher. Number five, program the big orange side button. Go into settings to configure the actions for double tap and long press on the PTT button. I prefer double tap to activate the flashlight and long press to open Google Pay. And in the end, here are some key shortcuts. On the lock screen, for some reason, you can't start typing the numbers to unlock directly. To enter your PIN, press the home button, the one with the circle, and the numbers will display on the screen, allowing you to input your PIN using the keypad. Press the orange button and the volume down button simultaneously to take a screenshot. Long press the home button to launch Google Assistant. Long press the recents button to pull down notifications. Double press the red call end button to launch the camera and use the volume up and down keys to take a picture. So there you go. Use all these tips to enhance your experience with the CAT S22 Flip. Let me know in the comment section if you have any more tips that have made using the CAT S22 Flip easier for you. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe for more such videos.